In the summer, the gangers cut the long grasses along the line slide, breaking it into heaps to dry in the sun. This time of year, Percy stops where they have been cutting. Men load up his empty wagon so he can take them to the station. Toby then takes them to the hills to, for the farmers to feed their stock. He gave off a ghostly whistle. Oh, be scared, Thomas. He laughed. It's only me. Ugly Ugly indeed. I'm Rain cut the cover of red stripes. You call like once a continued Thomas. I don't. Who's been late every afternoon this week? It's the hay! I can't help that. Green caterpillar indeed, fumed Percy. He set off to collect some hay to take to the harbor. Everyone says I'm handsome, or at least nearly everybody. Anyways, my curves are better than Thomas's corners. Thomas says I'm always late, he grumbled. I'm never late, or at least only a few minutes. What's that to Thomas? He can always catch up further on. All the same, he and his driver decided to start home early. Then came trouble. Ah, oh, come on! It's in my mouth. Sorry, Percy. I didn't seem to see you there. Laughed Frankie. Frankie, how are you even here? You're not on solo yet. I... I don't know. A crate of treacle was upset all over Percy. Percy was cross. He was still cross when he puffed away. The wind was blowing fiercely. Look at that! exclaimed the driver. The wind caught the piled hay, tossing it up and over the track. The line climbed here. Take a run at it, Percy, his driver advised. Percy gathered speed, but the hay made the rails slippery, and his wheels wouldn't grip. Time after time, he stalled with spinning wheels, and had to wait until the line ahead was cleared, before he could start again. Everyone was waiting. Thomas seethed impatiently. Henry was late. I want a positive complaint as a talking hat. Then they all saw Percy. They laughed and shouted. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Percy panted. Teased Thomas. What's wrong? Asked Percy. Talk about Harry Caterpillar. Puff Thomas. When Percy got home, his driver showed him what he looked like in a mirror. Bust my buffers! No wonder why they all laughed. I'm just like a woolly bear. Please clean me before Toby comes. But it was no good. Thomas told Toby all about it. Instead of talking about sensible things like playing ghosts, Thomas and Toby talked about <laughs> woolly caterpillars and other creatures that crawled in hay. They laughed a lot, but Percy thought they were being really silly indeed. <laughs>